All right, so here we have a 2005 GMC Yukon. Uh, this has the uh, common complaint, very slow to fill uh, the gas tank. Uh, so here we're underneath the vehicle. Uh, we're going to be removing, this is the uh, canister, uh, the vapor canister with the vent valve for the uh, evaporative emissions. So we're going to be removing all of this. Um, so basically what's going on is this filter is dirty here. Uh, so, we're, and we're, so we're not getting uh, the air out of the tank to put the fuel in so it's not letting it. So we'll go ahead and uh, start by removing uh, this whole charcoal canister assembly. So we have two bolts here. Um, we have a couple connections and one wire to the, uh, the actual vent uh, solenoid. All right, so we want to remove this one line right here. This is what's going to the uh, tank. So, so we have some little tabs here we just need to release. And these little locks right here. And then we have a connector right here. Let's see. So we got another line, let's see, right here we have another line. So this one here has a little blue tab. We're going to be pushing the blue tab in on both sides. All right. And then that removes our charcoal canister. All right, so here we have the canister. We've got it down on the ground now. Uh, one thing we noticed when we were pulling it out is that we were losing um, some carbon. This is not um, how it's supposed to be. It should never pour out the other side there. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and break all this down, all the bracket off of it. Uh, we have a new uh, canister, and then we have a relocator kit. Uh, for this filter. We're going to take this filter apart too and uh, see what's inside of it because we have another one of these. Uh, so we'll go ahead and break this down now. All right, so here we have our new uh, canister that we got from Auto Parts Direct U. We'll go ahead and we'll install this in the bracket. Okay, so now we have all this set up. Now this one here, uh, also from Auto Parts Direct U, we got a locator, a relocator kit. So this is going to move this far away. So this will be the inlet where this one inleted, right here, this one will have a filter and will be pretty far away and tucked up so we don't suck up any debris. You can see stuff just coming out. So that, the long time filling just comes from the system not being able to breathe.
which would be this. Hand falling apart. So this would be where the breather would be before. You can see how it's just disintegrated between. Uh, so this is, we'll go ahead and reinstall this one. Uh, then we'll lay our lines in and we'll figure out the best spot for our lines. They are pre-molded, uh, so they do lay in a specific way. Uh, this one here, we will find the best place to tuck it away. Uh, also our kit. comes with a new connector so we can relocate it a little bit out of the way uh, so we can get some more distance there. We do want to go ahead and take off this tab right here. We're going to reinstall this. So we just lift up the ears. Right, we'll go ahead and Put our clip on that side. All right, so we'll go ahead and put this up in the vehicle now. We just have a little bracket here. It pretty much will hang on. We get our bolts lined up. Okay, so you can see we left the lines in the vehicle, so you can they line right up. Uh, you know, cause maybe you just want to push it on so you hear it click. I gotta see that one. This one here, you gotta line up the ears for the window, and the same, just push until it clicks. Almost there. Sometimes you have to push the pin back in. Oh, there we go. All right, so we have our we have our relocator kit here. Uh, I've done a little bit of modification. Okay, so this part fits trucks. This is a Yukon. You know, it fits a lot of different truck packages within the GM here. So this little indexing tab, I bent this down. Uh, we're going to put it up. We're going to put this fastened right here on that bolt. Uh, the other one is I remove these clips here. They, I remove these clips. Uh, they were mounted on this line. Uh, we don't need them with this. This looks like it's more for mounting to the bottom of a truck bed. Uh, so on a truck, they want you to put this on the other side towards the frame rail because things sit a little different. Um, so I think what we have figured out here is we are going to go like this. Which then allows our line to be plugged back in. So we'll go ahead and put our look, line back in. All right, so that clipped in there. All right, so now our lines are all, all nice and laid out. Go ahead and tighten that bolt up. All right, so this is the first part of the relocator kit. This relocates the solenoid your vent solenoid. So your vent solenoid was here uh, next to the exhaust. Probably not a good place to put it with the heat. Uh, but this is where your air intake was happening. Uh, so now we've relocated the solenoid to here. Uh, it does come with a little jumper wire for some models, but I believe we can still fit the original. There might be some kind of, okay, so there is a, 
not only is that a jumper to that's a jumper to modify the pin it looks like so we have to use that one So then we'll go ahead and fasten this clip. Oh, let's do this. We can we can clip that clip to the bracket. All right. So now we have the clip there, and then our original mount. And we can clip it to there, which does us pretty good, kind of keeps us off of the uh, bracket there. So a rubbing concern would be my, would be my first uh, thought there. Being that this wire loom is here, uh, that is doing a pretty good job of keeping us, you know, because as we're going down the road, this is going to be pretty windy. It may move around. We don't want to wear a groove in it. All right, so now that we have that, the second part of this kit It's putting in, now this is the air filter. So before we had the other style, this one, so that'll be our air filter on this one. It's got a couple, got a couple different uh, micron styles of filter. So this would be where we would clean, if we were going to have a problem before, we would clean this filter out. So this comes with a huge hose. The idea behind this is we want to get this, right? if it was a truck, we would have this thing going up and sitting in between the bed and the cab, uh, mounted to the cab side of it, you know, try to uh, get it as high as we can out of, the, out of the road debris and dirt and all that stuff. This one here, we're going we're gonna to try to slip it underneath the gas tank so it has the gas tank protection. So we'll go ahead and we'll put this on this side first make our connection. Then we're going to use zip ties uh, to fasten this out of the way uh, and keep it secure. All right, so you can put this a couple different ways, uh, whatever works best for you. I mean, the object is we want to get this out of the way from the dust uh, so it doesn't plug up, so we don't have filling the tank problems. Uh, what we're going to do here is we're going to kind of lay it on top of the tank uh, with the filter facing backwards along this cross member. So we're going to come up here. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to end up drilling a hole in this uh, shield right here so I can fasten it here. I'm also going to fasten it with a zip tie here. Uh, so that'll, and, and when I put that zip tie in, that'll give it the bend and it should be pretty tucked in and then roll that way. So the drive shaft won't hit it. Uh, nothing to be in the way of that. Uh, so we'll go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and put a hole right there. Okay. All right, so we'll go ahead and we're going to lay this in, tuck it as far as we can. So we'll go ahead and put that guy back on. Just do a little trimming on our zip tie. All right, so that looks pretty good how it's a little bit bent there. All right, so we gave that a little flare just to keep the edge from digging in right there. 
because you know that, that could move around. It looks pretty tight. I don't see that moving too much. All right, so now we have relocated our filter up here. There's no way it can come out. It's pretty loaded in. And that'll do it for the uh, relocator. So just uh, this kit is a pretty good kit uh, for doing the job, but it does take a little bit of thought to, to lay it out.